Hey guys, what's going on? It's Anthony with Ants Drone, and in today's video, I'm gonna teach you guys how to apply for authorization in a zero grid on Air Maps. Let's get into it. But before we get started, I wanna tell you guys real quick about TubeBuddy. TubeBuddy is a YouTube SEO tool that I've been using to grow my YouTube channel. I definitely would recommend taking a look at this SEO tool. It's pretty incredible, some of the things that you can do with it. So I'm gonna leave a link to that in the description below. So definitely make sure to check that out. But let's jump into the actual topic of the video, which is AirMap and Zero Grids. So a really nice thing about these apps like AirMap and Kitty Hawk is now you can apply to fly your drone in a zero grid, say if you get a job and you need to fly, well, now it's possible to do it in that location. In the past, it was a much longer process that required lots of approval, and it just was kind of a mess, whereas now it's very simplified thanks to these apps. So right here on my screen, you can see that I'm in an area where there's an airport. Here's the Deer Valley Airport in Phoenix. As you can see, there's zero grids all around. If we scroll over here into this neighborhood, this whole neighborhood right here is a zero grid which can be a problem if you're trying to get aerial photography and videography. Now, keep in mind with authorization in this area, it's not like you're gonna be able to fly up to 400 feet. You're actually gonna be quite limited, but you're still gonna be able to fly your drone, which is awesome because even if you're just 50 feet off the ground, you're still gonna get that aerial perspective that your client is looking for and you won't have to just turn them down on the job. Now, one thing that I do wanna say is if you're going to apply in a zero grid, make sure you do it at least 72 hours in advance. They actually say when you apply that it can take up to 30 days to get approval. From my experience, I found that you're gonna get these approvals pretty quick within at least 24 to 48 hours, but give yourself 72 hours just in case. So right here, we're in the neighborhood that I zoomed in on already, and we're just gonna zoom into this random street. How about Potter Drive? Let's do that. So on Potter Drive, we're just gonna select a random house. And as you can see, there's a radius. Now the smaller the radius, the better. So if, if you don't have to have a huge radius, that's definitely the best option because you're more likely to get approval if it's smaller. So for the sake of this video, we're gonna go with a smaller radius. Make sure you've selected FAA 107 and hit next. And in here, you're gonna have to select the altitude. Anything above 50 feet is most likely gonna get declined. So just keep that in mind. You want to maintain less than 50 feet if possible. I wouldn't go above 100 feet, but I usually stay at 50 feet and every single time they pretty much accept it. Now keep in mind, this is not the LANK system. This is manual approval. So when you send this, it, a real physical human being is gonna get the request and they're gonna have to review it. So just keep that in mind. So we're gonna go with 50 feet and the less time, the better too. So if you can keep it down to like a half an hour to 45 minutes, that's great. Um, now the date and time, this is important. So we're gonna actually do May 1st at 12 p.m. Okay. Now when you scroll down, what you're gonna wanna do is in the brief uh, note for safety, you're gonna wanna put, you know, basically the aircraft will remain below 50 feet, blah, 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 blah. You know, just go over your safety measures and what you're gonna do. It's also best if you do have a visual observer, although it's not necessary, but some people have said that they've had an easier time getting the approval when they say that they have a visual observer. Now, all this other information, what is the max speed of the flight, all that, you know, put that in. Um, is the flight occurring within visual line of sight? Yes. Anti-collision lighting? Yes. So all that information. Now we're going to hit next. And right here, you'll see DVT, that's the Deer Valley Airport, eligible for further coordination, altitude crossing, auto authorization, altitude limit. So basically what that means is they're gonna send it in. So once you send that in, you're gonna get a text on your phone that goes over exactly what you submitted and it's gonna give you the number for the operation and then you just have to wait for approval. And you'll find out via text message if you've been approved. This right here on the screen is what the text will look like if you've been approved. 
So yeah, guys, that's how easy it is to apply for manual authorization in a zero grid. Now keep in mind, not all zero grids are gonna allow you to do this with an air map. If you can't do it with an air map, you could do it through the FAA Drone Zone website, although that requires a lot more information. So make sure that if you're applying on the Drone Zone website, you have all your ducks lined up because they're gonna ask you a lot of questions on there. And chances are, if they're not letting you apply in the zero grid, then it could be something like an Air Force base that's nearby or something where they really don't want you flying in that area. If they really don't want you flying in that area, they will make it very hard for you to apply. But in most situations that I've noticed, it's very easy to apply in a zero grid, given that you give them 72 hours in advance to review your request. Especially those that are doing this for a living, you know, this is kind of a newer system. In the past, you had to do everything through Drone Zone. Um, so this is definitely a little bit different, but it makes your life so much easier. And if you've been flying drones for a while, it's pretty incredible that you can do this now. In the past, it took 90 days to get that approval. Let me know in the comment section below if this video helped you out. I don't know if you can tell, but my eyes are watering because there are flowers and plants all over this yard and I have allergies. So not the best time of year for me, but I'm not crying, I promise. <laughs> but anyway, guys, definitely make sure to hit the subscribe button and notification bell. That way you're updated when I create new videos. And also make sure to give this video a thumbs up. That way it ranks higher in the algorithm. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.